Hello and welcome to June's horoscope. We're going to be doing one of each of <laughs> the star signs. So we're starting off with Tauros. Uh, so we have the Tauros card here. And I'm going to see the overall energy for you guys and with an oracle deck and a tarot deck. So we're using Wizard of the Oracle and Housewise Tarot for, the, for this, these readings of June. What is... Taurus is, what's the message for Taurus, guys? What's the message for Taurus? What do they need to know? Oh, that's not shuffling properly. Whoa. Yeah. Well, it seems to be wanting to come out. Imagine is your oracle energy. I will look that up after I do the what do we call it? I will do the um tarot. Let's, I'm gonna put them here. Then you can see them a bit more. Just about. <laughs> I'm getting used to this new angle, so we'll go from there. Um yeah, so whoops it is. So the oracle deck, the tarot deck. Please stop falling. This is what happens when I try and make a background look nice. Everything just comes to bits. So, whoa. Uh, I'm going to do your current situation, your pr um, what's, uh, what's coming up, and the outcome. So, Taurus, what is your overall energy? First and foremost... Nine of Cups. So Taurus, you guys have the Nine of Cups and Imagine. So that is quite quite a nice uh, energy just for your reading. Uh, this one is number 20. 34, no, not 20. I'd rather just make sure I use the deck properly than go, well, you know, it's all about imagining and being creative. So that's kind of what it is. But just to be sure, you are manifesting, you're getting creative, you're visualising your man your manifestation, the things you want in life coming to be, hence the Nine of Cups, which means all your wishes are coming true. So that is actually quite a nice energy for you guys. I'm literally just reading the little snippets and read it into intuitively as we go. So that is your overall energy. So you your wishes are coming true and your manifestation is coming to a physical uh, being, if that makes sense. So, if you wanted a new job, that's going to come to come to be, kind of thing. Um, I'm, I feel like I'm out of breath. I don't know why. Uh, let's see what is coming up for you guys. The high priestess. So we have the high priestess there. Jar of syrup. Um, so, you know, it's all about um, the universe giving you all the things you've wanted. It's it's usually a teacher as well. That's another one. Not, not like the Hierophant. I find the High Priestess is like a teacher of guidance. Like she's teaching you going, well, if you work hard, you will get this done. But you're also kind of being more in tune with letting the universe take a hold of things. And we have the Ace of Swords. Love this deck so quirky um and then we have the empress so this is your past i'm going to say past present future or what's coming up for you guys actually i'll figure out the layout as i go do one more card i feel like one more go four and then keep going for your present situation three of wands Okay, so currently you're letting the universe take the reins of things. You're being a bit rash in like, please hurry up, just just give it to me now. But we can see like your overall energy again is imagine so your manifestation and your wishes come true with that nine of cups. So all the things you've wanted are coming, but you're being very impatient about it. So you're like, Oi, universe, give it to me now. Give it to me. give it to me. I want it now. Seriously, give it to me. But the Empress here is obviously the, this High Priestess going, now listen here, do you really want it? 
or like she's giving you like that motherly advice or maybe you need to start talking to yourself like you're a mom like you're your mom and go hey listen stop rushing into things and let things happen as they are and then you start being patient because the three of ones came in so you're waiting for that shift to come in um and with that like you're just waiting there you're being patient rather than being rash unlike that ace of swords just going straight in not not thinking straight and you know i want to see what that three of wands is about like what's it about what's it about oh i actually picked up two go with that one temperance so to go with that is balance so we have the temperance card there i love this it's just like baking so we have the temperance card there as the reason why you are being patient is because you need to find the balance in being patient and working hard because you can see here now this is a housewives one but you can see that like she has all the gear to clean the house she's prepared to make that journey she's prepared to clean the house but you need to have the balance of finding confidence in the universe that it will do it for you if that makes sense uh, so Taurus, let's see what is your what's up in next three? What is coming up? What else is there? The chariot. So this next bit is this is what your current situation is. This is what's coming up, and then the outcome will be at the end down down here. Um So the chariot, um you're taking the risk, you're taking those joy rides kind of thing, you're just you're in, you're being patient, so you're enjoying the ride. You're enjoying this path that you're on. So maybe it is a time to celebrate and be nine of wands. So you're protect. You're working hard. You're going up that ladder. You can see the lady here is going up the ladder with all her cleaning gear. She goes, "I'm so prepared. Like, look at all my stuff I have." And with that chariot beforehand, we see that you are enjoying this this journey that you're going through uh, for Ju for June. Um, you don't have doubts about the universe you're just more like can you're being a little impatient hence the ace of swords as we said before but then with the chariot here coming up you are enjoying the you're just enjoying the ride enjoying the time of you know going up the ladder going up that career ladder becoming the person you want to be and protecting yourself because you have the two of swords here so you're protecting yourself from the negative energies around you you don't want to fall into this rash behavior again which is not nice and then we have the page of pentacles it's just adorable i love this like the big headed things of this art style um so page of pentacles means you're learning you're learning again you're learning to save money you're learning again pentac page of pentacles Pages are students of their suit and they want to learn the tricks of the trade. They want to learn where they're going in life. But I want to see what that page of pentacles is about because that's why I'm being a little bit hesitant about it. Eight of pentacles. You're working hard. So you want to revisit and study what you were missing. You're enjoying this little ride here. You're enjoying it all the way across. You're, you're enjoying it all the way down during June. But um, you need to revisit your studies and think about what you want out of your career. Like, what's the thing you want most out of your career? Other than, like, the, the money. Because we all need money to survive, but it's not the be-all and end-all. The outcome is the Four of Swords. And, oh, that one jumped first. Uh, Eight of Cups. So, you are needing to rest. You do your studies, do your work. That's all fine and dandy, do you know? But the outcome here is the Four of Swords. So you need to rest, refuel, and walk away from this kind of intense, like, paranoid feeling you have about yourselves, Taurus. You are being paranoid and of, like, not par. I feel like it's a little bit paranoid. You're being paranoid about this manifestation that the High Priestess has up here. So you're being a bit paranoid about what this high priestess has planned for you. But your need to 
just walk away and let the high priestess do her work. Let her do her work. Like you went there for like a motherly kind of guidance, you know. You went and you got the three of wands as a result of that. So therefore you are waiting. You enjoy this slow journey with the chariot. You have the nine of wands. You're working up that ladder on your own. You're protecting yourself from those kind of distractions that aren't great for go like to keep you very off the path. If that makes sense. So you go back to your studies. You work really hard at your work because hence the eight of pentacles there. You're working really hard. You're studying. You're revisiting those core basic things, and then you just go off and have a little R and R before you go back into the swing of things. But the eight of cups here shows that you are still. It's still in the back of your mind. I just want to see what that entails. Ace of wands. You are out there doing things. I just want that was just an elaborator. Don't worry. Um, for the eight of cups. So. You guys go off and relax a bit more. You have, you just walk away from that, like that anxiety of not knowing what is being manifested and is it going to be the thing you want. But you go out and do things and you get there, you get things done. Oh my goodness. Whew. These, whew, it was just a lot going on. I felt like I need to breathe. And I was like, I am breathing. It's just like, Oh, that was a lot to take in for you guys. Whoa, this one jumped. Um, I was going to see what's the other messages for you guys with the Oracle we're using. We're using the Wisdom of the Oracle um, deck. And we have Here and Now. That's kind of obvious. You need to learn to be in the moment rather than thinking five years ahead. You need to learn to be in the here and now. You need to learn to be in the moment rather than going, I need a five-year plan. You don't need a five year plan. Work like the high priestess has taken the reins. She's off driving the car. She's driving this chariot, if that makes sense. This high priestess is driving the chariot and she's taking you along the way to the goal. To the, there's never an end goal, but she's taking you to the next chapter. But you have to, you're doing all the work while you're enjoying the ride that she's, that she's providing you. To the sea is the next one. Um, I feel like that's about travel. Like you're enjoying, again, you're enjoying a journey. It's slow, it's gentle, it's on the calm sea. Like there's nothing, she's in a bathtub and she's like really calm there. So you can tell like it's very chill. Um, wow, regeneration is the next one that came up. I haven't seen that card before. Like I've been shuffled, I haven't used this deck in a while. So some of them are like, oh, I haven't seen that one. So regeneration. So you're waiting for, as I said, you're waiting for that. You're waiting for that ship to come in and you're finding the balance. But as you find that balance, you emerge as a new person because you have this four of swords down here. You emerge as a new person. You rise from the ashes of the previous chapter as a new person. Um, what, I'm going to do one more. Uh, we have a <laughs> new life. Oh my goodness, Ruth. Come on. I love when they do that. I'm going to do another one because I feel like, oh, do you know when you're like, I need to keep going. I want to see what else comes up. So you read like regeneration, you come out of the ashes, out of out of this like slow gen journey, really slow. You come out of it regenerated and there's a new life. Like you can see, like the egg is here saying here and now and here she is hatched out of the egg. Like it's, I love when they sync up like that. Whoa, that one jumped. Message in bottle came up. Um, I want to see what that one is actually. I feel like that's just like everything you've wanted is coming to be, but I'd rather be sure to be sure. 14, 15. I'm always like that. I'd rather be sure about the card than um, uh, being intuitive sometimes. Uh, communication, a sign of... Communication is a sign of spirit sending you signs when you ask them to. When you believe, you ha will receive them. And with you, allow yourself to become fluent in the language of symbols, oracles and omens. So it's kind of like watching out for little signs, like the feathers that come out of nowhere. Um, or like me, it's a robin. So if a robin comes out of nowhere, you're like, oh, a good sign's coming this way. That's great. But you see, you have to learn to embark on all this stuff that the, that the high priestess has planned for you. And then all your wishes and your, your manifestations will come true. So oh, earth signs. Well, Earth signs Taurus. That's just Taurus. 
Oh, that's 11 more to do. <laughs> so, Tauros. That's a... Uh, that's actually a nice June reading. I actually enjoy that. That's actually a nice one. And I love revisiting the decks that you haven't seen in a while. So I'm going to carry on with the other Earth signs. So we have uh, Capricorn and Virgo to do next. And then I'm going to do Fire signs and Water signs. Uh, and we'll go and the Air signs. And we'll go from there. So I will see you all next time. Uh, make sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, um, Facebook. I don't know, what's the other one? <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll go from there and follow. And don't forget to subscribe. Um, I will see you all next time and 